how much has the video game industry grown in 2022 for many people worldwide playing video games is a great way to have fun and relieve stress the first known video game was created in 1958 wow by william hinging bottom a physicist like the popular game pong his game was about tennis According to Liquid Web, since the release of Pong and consumer-ready home game consoles in the early 1970s, the video game industry has come a long way. This has led to waves of games throughout the year, and the industry is growing exponentially. Notably, the gaming industry is wealthy, but now much is it? But how much is it really worth in 2022? Take a look at some video game industry st statistics. Uh, gaming industry worth over 300 billion versus oh they just gave it away right there gaming industry worth over 300 billion worldwide accenture released a report entitled gaming the new super platform that revealed that the gaming industry had crossed the 300 billion mark the study analy analyzed that analyzed data from over 4,000 gamers in various markets. The study found that gamers from different regions such as Japan, China, and the United States were the main drivers of the gaming industry's rapid growth. The study revealed that gamers spend around 16 hours a week playing video games. They also spend around 8 hours a week watching and interacting with other games in various online communities. Japan, China, and the United States. So that means all the other countries aren't even like pushing it that much, huh? Gamers interactions and instances with uh, one another throughout through online communities are some of the factors that have contributed to the gaming industry's rapid growth. According to the industry, over three in four gamers believe that the gaming industry will play a significant role in their lives in the future. Play, <coughs> not pay. Immersive games uh, are growing in popularity. 2020 brought various innovations and developments to the immersive gaming space leading to more people joining the gaming community and experiencing a virtual world. In 2020, the average amount of money gamers spent on immersive games was around $4.5 It's expected that the gaming industry's value will continue to increase in 2021. While traditional games are still in the, industry, in the industry's primary focus, the rapid emergence and the evolution of VR and AR headsets and peripherals have contributed significantly to the gaming industry's growth. It's also expected that people will eventually embrace the use of augmented and virtual reality gaming. Because of this, the gaming industry will likely continue to grow. I don't know, how interested are you guys on VR headsets and stuff like that? I guess, I guess it's been long enough since I tried it that the technology is probably better and doesn't make me dizzy. But I, I wouldn't pay three hundred dollars uh, just to find out that it's not, it's not the case. Increased availability of streaming games. Despite the availability of various games on various platforms such as the Xbox One and the Nintendo Switch, the lack of powerful desktop computers still limits the gaming experience for many uh, of the population. With the rise of streaming games, it's now possible to bring various games to any device. This method eliminates the need for a desktop, com desktop computer and allows users to enjoy their favorite games on any device. The increasing involvement of tech companies such as Microsoft and Google in the gaming industry is also in expected to contribute to the gaming industry growth. In September 2020, Microsoft's Xbox Game Pass became fully functional and can be accessed by gamers. The company is still working on improving its service and will continue to add more features. What happened right here? I was expected to contribute to the gaming industry growth. Okay. Was Game Pass not available before September 2020? Hmm. Google Stadia platform, a part of the company's Chrome browser, allows users to stream their games to their devices. It's also, it's also available on various platforms such as Android, iOS, and Chrome. Nostalgia and Vintage Gaming Surprised by the gaming industry's growth, many people realize that the movie and tele television industries are also experiencing a similar phenomenon. As a result, audiences are nostalgic for old movies and shows they've seen. Due to the increasing popularity of vintage games, it's becoming more common for people to buy them. These games are often sought after by gamers who have experienced the same gaming experience. 
companies have started releasing new versions of their older games to capitalize on the nostalgia factor like atari just did with Cydia. nintendo has also created a virtual console that allows users to play their old games the global gaming market is expected to reach 256 billion by 2025 the number of people playing games has increased with over 2.5 billion people playing on their smartphones tablets and computers the global gaming market is expected to reach. Wait, I thought he just reached 300 million already. I'm uh, 300 billion. Uh, the gaming industry is expected to continue its rapid growth as more people join the ranks of gamers. Uh, this will help improve the gaming society and bring more developers and gamers. Uh, mm, I don't know. It kind of had a. The end of this, of this article didn't like, didn't really bring it home. Unless it's missing something. What happened to five? Nope. It's not missing anything. All right. Mm, the ending was a little disappointing. 